what you think about dorm food. In the relentless pursuit of deliciousness, USC executive chef Eric Ernest brings fresh herbs and vegetables grown on the campus of USC to the students and to the community. He joins us live now in the studio. And chef, let me tell you, I never saw this on my college <laughs> campus back in the 90s. Absolutely, it's what makes USC such an amazing environment. Mm -hmm. So today we're gonna do a, a quinoa salad, which is uh, one of the dishes we're gonna be mm -hmm. doing at the New Village Dining Hall. Um, we have uh, some quinoa mm -hmm. uh, and some, some greens grown on campus as well as some shaved market vegetables and a few little different things and we'll toss them together with a lemon vinaigrette. Before we do that, how receptive were students and faculty to this concept, having an executive chef on campus deciding what is best for students and what tastes good and looks good. Well, at USC, we lead with a flavor of, uh, a message of flavor. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if things taste well and they look great, uh, there's usually not much of a fight. This is an interesting concept because most of this salad is plant-based protein and we have mm -hmm. a little bit of crispy pork belly that we're putting on top and for look, some chef, richness. And look, Chef, we're looking right now at video of mm -hmm. your vegetable garden. You grow in vertical towers there on campus. Correct. And you're actually growing, what, all the vegetables and herbs you need for some of these recipes? We don't we don't grow everything, but we grow a good amount for our mm -hmm. restaurants and dining halls at USC. Um, here in our teaching garden, you see all sorts of different uh, vertical towers that have different lettuces, greens, bok choys, arugulas, things from the Crest family. Mm -hmm. And our students who are studying agriculture, are they the ones that are in charge of this, or who's in charge of this? This is run by hospitality, and then okay. we also work with different groups, whether it's uh, sustainability writing, mm -hmm or different uh, groups on statistics, looking for data. Uh, this really um, is combining our chefs, our product and our guests in a symbiotic relationship and we're challenging food systems. And we're moving away from that processed food, right? Absolutely. You want something a lot more fresh, Absolutely. a lot more delicious, and mm -hmm. this is what we have here. Absolutely. Well, let's uh, make this salad and Great. We'll talk some more so, about it. So you're gonna start with this bowl right here. We'll, okay. we'll add a little bit of red quinoa, which is a, a complete mm -hmm. protein. Is there a difference between regular, like the tan quinoa to the red quinoa? The red quinoa has a little bit more of a hull. Um, mm -hmm. I like it for this application because it's a little nuttier. Mm -hmm. um, here we have greens that are, that are grown right on campus. Those microgreens? So, uh, these are just baby greens. Okay. We have some baby arugula. We have some sorrel. Uh, we have some little bit, little bitter mustard greens. Showing the camera there. We, we, we have, have a little bit of just shaved uh, vegetables from the market. Mm -hmm. Here we have a little bit of squash blossoms. I love uh, squash blossoms. We're going to season it with a little Florida cell, peppercorn, a little lemon vinaigrette. So if you want to mix that. All right. So on campus, you can get this and you can, guess, I guess, get the more traditional college fair, right? You can get Correct. pizza and Correct. hot dogs and, and whatever it is that Correct. students we like. Correct. Uh, we have almost 50 units spread across two campuses mm -hmm. and we're really supporting life on campus with food service. Mm -hmm. So we, everything that we have kind of runs the gamut. This is a dish that's inspired by our food philosophy and, and the new uh, dining hall at the Village, mm -hmm. uh, which is one of the largest developments to see, to hit South LA mm -hmm. in the history of Los and Angeles. And this is open to students, faculty, visitors to campus, anybody? Mostly, for the dining halls, it's mostly students, but you can okay. Okay. walking off the street. Which is very nice. Absolutely. And what about price points? I know a lot of times when we think healthier, fresher, mm -hmm. is, it, is it a lot more expensive? Is it something you have to be budget conscious It really depends about? on supply chain. Um, we're always looking through contract management and supply mm -hmm. chain to bring those costs down. Um, we also run really fiscally responsible because a lot of our department has a lot of real world experience. Mm -hmm. uh, but really, you know, we run uh, industry uh, average uh, levels as far as food costs and labor costs. So we try to keep that cost down mm -hmm. to fit Well, the if I had this budget. option back in school, I would have definitely <laughs> gone for it. Okay, what do we do and, next And year? this dish, mm -hmm. make, no, make no mistake, this isn't like you would walk in and pay an a la carte price. This is part of a swipe for an unlimited, okay, you know, all you so care to eat. if you have eat. a food plan yeah. at school, this Absolutely. would be part of this it. Is, oh, this great. is part of it. So we're going to go right in here. We just have a little basil oil and we have a little lemon vinaigrette on the plate. So you just mm -hmm. make a nice little line. Going to move this over here. Just an, okay, like this. Mm -hmm. Just make a nice little line down the center of the plate. All right. Move this over. Do you have any culinary training? I, I don't. I just watch a lot of Food Network. Okay, That's well, it. it's, pay, it's paying off. <laughs> And this is pretty easy. Is it Absolutely. Once you have everything prepared, mm -hmm. even at home, most people have quinoa in their fridge and these veggies also. So here we'll, we'll, we'll do a little bit of uh, flowers that we grew in the teaching garden. I'll mm -hmm. give this to you. Okay. And oh, you here's, can, here's my favorite part, the and protein. You can, we can take about two ounces of some pork belly right on there. Look at that. Two ounces is about how many pieces? About four or five pieces. Okay. Pork belly is mm -hmm. so delicious too. And this dish is great because it's plant-based protein, mm -hmm. uh, but you have a little bit of pork belly for some, for some richness. And then from there, we'll season a little bit more peppercorn. Look at that. We'll drizzle 
So this is the future of, of eating on campus. Absolutely, isn't it? absolutely. And if you look, you know, you, you eat with your eyes. So if you could see right. this this plate that we prepared earlier, um, it mm -hmm. looks beautiful. You've got you've got plenty of green, right? We want to eat the rainbow every day. It is gorgeous. You got the edible flowers there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Looks so nice, Chef. And of course, available on campus to students at USC, right? Yes, at, at the University Village. Excellent. For more information about Chef Eric and healthy eating options, just go to kcalnight.com. Click seen on TV. All right, thank you so Fight much. On. Appreciate <laughs> it. Yes, sir. Up next, Craig is